morning everyone. My name is Luciana de Willingroom. Today I will tell first speech about young generation. So as we know that to have a good or qualified youth is every nation's hope. Because young generation is the agents of change in the middle of the more complex future challenges. It is very needed a better mindset and real action for Indonesia in the future. And young generation also called as the leader of tomorrow. With so many facilities that has been available, available such as internet access and more sophisticated technology, they greatly help us to think critically and creatively in face these future challenges. And the question is, how to face the challenges in the future? So, let me start by informing you that we are facing the modern era that full of challenges. We, as youth generation, have no choice except to be brave in facing the challenges. Concerning the fact, let us improve our knowledge. Let us study hard. We know that education should be the first priority. It is the base need so that it can't be bargained. With a good and serious education, we will be a good ethos, reliable and professional generation. Nowadays, societies do need the help or service of educated and generous people who are able to speak up and make innovation. Therefore, they can help the society quickly, accurately, generously and uh, interestingly. We may not be slow, too easy going, think about nothing, waiting for the miracle down for, from the sky. And let us be motivated. Let us be ready to study, struggle and reach for achievement so that we can be good, smart, honest and polite generation. Uh, recently, President Joko Widodo appointed the 35-year-old entrepreneur as Education Minister, Nadim Makarim. Joko said he expects Nadim to make breakthroughs that could improve this struggling, uh, struggling education system to improve human resources in Indonesia. As part of the millennial generation himself, um, he is formulating a breakthrough in fulfilling technology and uh, the young generation, especially those who are able to make the leap into the work first after completing their education. He is the sole representative of our generation in the cabinet. Another fact, the president introduced seven special staffers he dubbed as millennial staffers who will be his partners in this dis in discussion. Uh, the appointment of the seven uh, showed that young people have been trusted in governmental institution to contribute to the nation. I think that's a great move and that is time for young people could generate new ideas to support the government program in the future. And I think Djokovic's purpose is to provide to provide a chance for young younger generation to participate participate in uh, government. It is hoped that their participation will spark innovation and new breakthroughs regarding public policies or govern governance. Ladies and gentlemen, the development of country depends on each generation. If we have good generation, we will have a good country. If we have bad generation, we will have bad country. So, reach the knowledge more and more. If we have bad generation, we will have a uh, bad country. So, I think, uh, make your dream come true. 
Ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. The youth always be the man who do a better changing. The true youth is the agent of change of the nation that could bring change in Indonesia to a more positive direction. Um, if the government has tried to optimize the educational system that is able to minimize the moral decline of adolescents, uh, we as youth should be better. Uh, help the government to er eradicate things that make people around restless as a result of the actions of youth. Apply the things that have been given when in school environment, family and family. Uh, young, young people now and in the future will play a big role in how our world adapts to these challenges. With youth, some energy, innovation, and optimism. If there are supportive environments and opportunities, uh, this lay the ground for measure, measure positive contributions by youth and for a demographic dividend for nations and our world. Um, the converse is also true, alienated frustrated and marginated and excluded youth can't make the positive contribution societies and our world as a whole need. In conclusion, youth as the future generation and hope of a nation should aware of all this situation uh, and how we learn and how we can learn to recreate the next generation who can actually expect it and we're able to develop the nation and the state. Um, the younger generation is the golden generation. The young generation is the generation that creative, innovative, cautious and noble characters. With the rapid advance in technology, we as young people should be able to use to take out the things that are positive and discard the things that are negative. I know it's not easy to do that, as, as easy as turning the palm of the hand. But if we don't start it now, who wants? So let's do the simple things because a great people do not have to do great things, but great people always start with something simple. I think uh, that's all for my speech. Thank you for your attention.